Hello, welcome to theCUBE's coverage of Boomi's Out of This World. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. Got two great guests here. Chris Port, Chief Operating Officer of Boomi and Mandy Dollywall, who's the Chief Marketing Officer of Boomi. Chris, Mandy, great to see you. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Appreciate it. Great to see you, John. Thank you for having us. This segment is really about the, the Boomi uh, trend and, and customers um, and the success you guys had obviously now on a new trajectory Go to the next level when you had a lot of trajectory and success. Chris, as the chief operating officer, we've talked many times about the customer base uh, and growing poised perfectly for this next wave. Give us the update on the macro trends around your customer base and how Boomi's helping them and how you're, you're getting your growth. Absolutely. And, and John, I really look forward to seeing you face to face hopefully sooner than later. Um, Yo, yo, again, this is a great moment in time. We're now north of 18,000 customers, 800 partners globally. We've actually seen an acceleration in the business through the pandemic. Obviously, people are trying to do more with less. So it's just an amazing time to see what our customers are doing. Obviously, an explosion of SaaS applications. And when we start to think about macro trends, you know, explosion of endpoints, explosion of data. And now you compound that with a labor shortage, which, you know, I know, you know, if anyone's looking, Boomi's hiring more than we've ever hired in our life. And, and obviously we're all seeing this in the space. So now you know, basically a high productivity, high time to value tool set like Boomi is an imperative. It's no longer a luxury. And we're seeing that accelerate what our customers are doing with us. You heard Ed and Chris talk about 189,000 unique endpoints that we now connect to. That's the power of Boomi. We do that in minutes and that's happening every single day. So again, just extending our footprint, extending what our customers are doing, really taking advantage candidly of these macro trends that we're seeing that are a real you know, tailwind for the business right now. So we're really excited. Our customers are just pushing the boundaries every day and excited to work with them and see what we can do with them. You know, Chris, uh, Dave Vellante and I were talking about, you know, how do you tell the next big breakout success is rogue usage, shadow IT, when you have rogue users, that means there's some innovation happening. You guys have a lot of customers that are hiring because it's all new and it's all new innovation. Mandy, this is kind of like a marketing opportunity. It's like rogue is not a bad word here. This new functionality, you guys are showing the market that you, you go with Boomi, you can get more value and then new things just emerge, new positions open up, value is being created. It's kind of a sign of value, not, not a negative, it's a positive. Yeah, absolutely. We give uh, our customers the ability to iterate quickly and innovate quickly, right? They're looking to modernize, transform, and innovate in terms of their new, new business models, right? The world we live in today is all about dying or innovating. And so there's really no choice. We abstract away that complexity, so our platform gives people the ability to go build quickly and realize time to value. So that's really the thought leadership that's coming out for us. You know, I love, you know, love Andy Jassy, former CEO of AWS, now the CEO of Amazon, always said, uh, Chris, you know, you know, there's no compression algorithm for experience. And he always talked about Amazon being misunderstood. And then finally people go, oh my God, that's the, that's the formula of success. And then they're late to the game. A lot of similarities in the boomy culture uh, with undifferentiated heavy lifting you guys take away and create net new opportunities. This is an operational opportunity for customers. What's your quick comment on that? Well, look, I mean, I love the quote. I mean, again, 26 billion minutes of working with our customers directly. That's a perfect way to put it. I mean, it's a, it's a mode. There's no substitute for that. Trying to bring that to bear every day. And again, with just the, the imperative of being agile, speed, time to value. I mean, Forrester did a study recently, you know, Boomi 65% faster in terms of building integration relative to manual coding and more importantly, legacy middleware. And these are now just imperatives. They're not luxuries anymore. So again, you know, when we take to, you know, we bring to bear that 26 billion minutes in everything we do from a success org, which is now double, more than double from a footprint, you know, over the last 12 to 18 months. And again, trying to build more and more people into that organization. But candidly, I mean, success has been part of our DNA since day one. I mean, you know, the thousand plus movie people across the globe, it's what we think about every single day is how to make customers successful. And again, to your point, there's, there's, there is no substitute you know, for the experience of the brand. You know, um, we've been covering Boomi for a long time, Andy, you know that, and, and we kind of got the picture right away. And you mentioned, Chris, some of those KPIs. Those are real value 
points that you look to. But ultimately, you guys are, have been successful. And I think one of the tell signs is customer, customer value. You always have great customers. So customer success, this is a, a pass term, SaaS term, iPass term, is part of the, of the cloud. You have to have customer success built in from the beginning. You guys always had that as part of your culture, customer success organizations and operations. What's the update, Chris, with customer, customer success? Yeah, again, I mean, you know, more than doubling the team over the last 12 to 18 months and building this even more into the DNA of, of Boomi overall. We've completely overhauled what we think is a world-class onboarding experience for both our new customers as well as our existing customers, because John, you brought it up, you know, call it rogue, call it whatever. I mean, our existing customers and the people at that footprint that are learning Boomi every day, we want to give them the best onboarding experience too, so that they can accelerate their journey with Boomi which kind of gets into the Boomiverse and our whole community, which when we were together last time face-to-face, -to -face, you know, in VC we launched just two years ago, we're now over 100,000 members as part of our community growing every single day. Incredibly excited about that because that brings their knowledge base to bear, all of their experience, and again, it really brings what customers want, which is they really want to interact in a digital way. And the Boomiverse is so, you know, so much significantly different today when you think about the number of knowledge base articles, the number of you know, marketplace type vehicles that are available, bringing together now forums, some light cohorts can start talking to each other about what they're doing with Boomi, and so much more to come as we get into this new year. But, but again, you know, the Boomi verse is so vibrant now that it's kind of a force multiplier for Boomi in terms of our reach, but more importantly, how our customers are learning from each other every day. Yeah, and just to tag on to that, John, over 38% of our customers are publicly referenceable. There's a movement here. Industry average, averages are high 20s, max. So, you know, the platform really sells itself and customers validate value the platform in a very vocal way. We're very grateful for that. I think you guys are a great example of product market fit and go to market fit as people look at these metrics. You got to nail customer success, which from day one, you got to have the usage metrics you got to have the integration, now you got hyper automation. And as you start getting the ecosystem, Mandy, you got a branding opportunity here. You got, you have an ecosystem, which is another tell sign of success when you start having that word of mouth. I remember when shadow IT was kind of like poo pooed, but that was the rogue behavior, which became the cloud. You are starting to see, you guys see this ecosystem, you've kind of crossed the chasm. Great opportunity for your brand. What, what's your reaction? Yeah, absolutely. And we haven't done any brand work yet, John, right? That's coming. So, you know, we're just getting started. Okay, so I have to ask about this viral thing going on that's going go boom, go boomy it. So a lot of kind of double entendres there, IT, it, boom, you know, everyone knows that icon on their text, boom, you know, it's good. Things are booming. What's going on? Give us the update. Go boom it. Boomy it. Yeah, so, it, so it's go boomy it. Yeah. And um, this was something that our customers brought to us during the pandemic. We didn't have much opportunity, obviously. We were all sitting behind our computer screens. So we decided that we were going to start to hold wine and cheese pairings, you know, conversations with customers just to check in, see how they're doing, see how we can help and, and get them together to share stories of how they're handling, you know, disruptions to their business. So over the course of several months, talking to customers globally, I started to hear people say, well, I told my so-and-so to just go boomy it because, you know, it'll, it'll get done. If you have a problem, it doesn't matter what it is, just go boomy that. And all of a sudden it crystallized for me. I'm like, you know what, this is a movement. Boomi is a verb, we're there. And so this wasn't something the marketing team dreamt up. This is something we heard from our customers and have taken it to market now as a rally cry. Our team members talk about it, our customers are talking about it. And really, again, it's a testament to the pervasiveness and capability of this platform. You start with Connect, but you're able to grow with us as your business changes and, and uh, opportunities rise for your business. Well, you know, that's a really good indicator of uh, net net you know net promoter score kind of vibe when people are giving you your marketing slogans uh, from mm -hmm. happy customers. So uh, really great congratulations to the whole team there. Can you give us some specific examples since you mentioned referenceable customers of customer examples and take me through some of the highlights in your opinion that kind of show where this is going in terms of customer use case and value? Yeah, um, I'll start with one that's very near and dear and obviously very relevant, Moderna, right? There's, there's been some press on Moderna here recently. Um, you know, they were in the race to find a cure for, for COVID-19. They were looking to bring on new uh, employees and they couldn't bring them on fast enough. They couldn't onboard these people. 
So they leverage Boomi technology to do an integrated uh, pursuit of driving customers onto their uh, onto their um, employee platform. So we were able to accelerate their onboarding, cut that time in half, so they could actually start working on what mattered. So that undifferentiated heavy was lifting around the administrative tasks associated with getting my social insurance number. Sorry, I'm Canadian. Social security number, as well as other aspects that we all have when we're joining a company. If that's automated. You can get to work faster. So that really helped improve drug development time and make a real difference in terms of getting this vaccine to market. So that's enough, that's one tangible example. Second example, customer of ours, uh, joint customer with NetSuite, Corpsicle, uh, they had to find different routes to market, right? And so they went direct to consumer. So they expanded their business through a global pandemic by, by leveraging booty technology and integrating their e-commerce with their financial systems to be able to get to customers directly and also manage their omni-channel in, in, a, in a new way. So again, new business model emerged. If the innovator died, they innovated, right? Great win. Um, we have another customer in EMEA that's a government, small country. Citizens had to go in in person to get their, their health ID cards. Well, offices are closed. Nobody's allowed to go be in person anymore. Within one week, they digitally transform so they could disseminate healthcare cards in a critical time in a global pandemic to their citizens and have them get healthcare. So three tangible examples of how we just in the last 18 months have been able to help these, these customers in great success ways. So Chris, you guys have been operating a great business. Okay, now you're on your own, you're independent, you've got some great financing partners behind you, independent company, great trajectory, building on that. A lot of economies of scale you guys have built into it. Mandy, you got great customers. Where's the next journey for you guys? Take us through the operational growth strategy uh, for Boomi. Well, look, I mean, obviously we're on a hiring screen, more hiring than we've ever done. And that's pervasive across the, the entire business, real focus on product engineering, you know, our go to market. But, but, but we're also, you know, when you heard Chris and Ed allude to this, I mean, we're really redefining iPass once again. I mean, when I think about what I'm most excited about, it's a few things. A, we're, violently aligned from kind of call it the chairman of the board to the newest team member of Boomi now. You know, we know what the opportunity is and we're all aligned to go drive that. But but as importantly, it's what we're doing from a product perspective. You know, when you heard about intelligent, you know, connectivity, you've heard about automated connectivity, what we're doing from a discover perspective, EDA, you know, everything we're doing in the marketplace, but really accelerating what the adoption opportunities are for Boomi across you know, you know, the whole Boomiverse and across all of those new customers that we're acquiring. And then ultimately seeing what they do. I mean, again, I, I, I love what Mandy says. I mean, it, literally, I always, I feel so strongly about this. Boomi should be a verb within every single company in the world. I mean, it literally should be. Go Boomi it because the opportunities are expansive and endless in terms of what we can do together. And that's what I'm excited about is really kind of unleashing you know, this company on the world to see what we can do next, you know, as we really think about this next iteration. Mandy, real quick to you, uh, when people say go boomy it, when your customers say that, what does it mean to them? Why are they saying it? Take us through some of the psychology and some of the implications of, and the meaning of the word go boomy from a customer perspective. Yeah, great question. I think it's, first of all, it's a testament of the trust, right? It's just gonna work, right? So go get it done, it'll be fast. It'll be easy. It is not complex at all. Drag and drop, visual interface. Just go make it happen and go move on with the next piece of it. Data is critical, right? It's the lifeblood of any organization or that backbone of connectivity that gives our customers the confidence to go deliver on their business requirements. Awesome stuff. Chris, final word for you. If you can just share, in your opinion, you're talking to your customers out there and future customers. What would you say to them as you guys go to this next level, leg of the journey for Boomi? What would you say to them? You know, I would say come partner with us, come understand what we can do for your business. Come understand what true intelligent and automated connectivity look like in light speed in terms of how fast we can do that with you. And let's go explore the art of the possible together. Because to me, that's what Go Boomi is all about. Awesome, Chris, great to see you, Mandy. Great to see you virtually. Can't wait to see you in person uh, next event. Uh, and congratulations on all the success and looking forward to covering the next leg of the journey of Boomi. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, John. Thanks. Okay, this is theCUBE's coverage of Boomi's Out of This World event. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. Thanks for watching.